Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo, and welcome to Hasty Hippo Hints, where I'm going to teach you tips and tricks of the reselling trade in under five minutes. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so today we're going to quickly talk about the SKU line that's in the listings. Lately, I've heard a lot of people in um, the Facebook groups and on social media and other reselling hangouts online talking about the SKU line. What is it for? What do you do with it? Where do you find it? Well, I'm just going to show you what we do with ours and then um, give you some ideas of other ways to usefully use the SKU line. So I will most likely just show you uh, one of our listings here. Let it pull up. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a great example. So I'm waiting for it. Actually, let's go over the back end while this is loading. So the wonderful thing about the SKU line is that buyers can't see it. So it's there for you to put any information that you want, need, or want to find later easily, but the buyers can't see it. Yeah, and um, when you're on your seller hub in the back end here, you will see it in this um, column called custom label. I believe I actually had to edit this to show that here for us and I moved it over where I wanted it but you can definitely have this as a column. It will show up um, in your seller hub here when you're in your actives and I believe, let's just take a real quick peek, I think it even shows up here. It does not show up in your orders so that's a little inconvenient or maybe that's something I can edit and fix. But it does show up here and now we have to wait for this to load again. Doo -doo -doo. All right, let's look at this listing. I'm going to have to edit it because you can't see it from the actual um, listing. Like I said, it's hidden from buyers. So it's right here at the top, the custom label, the SKU, the SKU. So a lot of folks use this to put their location in. But because the SKU doesn't print out on a label, it's not in the title, it doesn't show up in the orders. I don't like to use it for where the um, item is. I usually put that in the title, and if I run out of room, I put it down here in the description. Um, but some people use this to put their location. I've heard um, some resellers say they use it to, to put where they bought the item and how much they paid for it so they can kind of keep track of the cost of goods on it if they're taking best offers or if they're trying to figure out their profit or their return on investment. We use it simply to put the month it was first listed and the initial asking price. The reason we do that is like threefold. So sometimes when an item has been in our store for three or four months, we consider it old and we'll, we'll throw it up on auction to liquidate it. Um, also, whenever we do our unsolds every day, we bulk edit them and sell similar. I do have a video on that. I can link below. Um, but when we do those, we lower our prices across the board blanket 5% at a time to keep lowering it a little bit each month to hopefully sell it. Um, but then say like I have a St. Patrick's Day item or an Easter or a Halloween costume or Christmas when that time rolls around and I know my item is more in demand and more people are going to be looking for it I actually want to raise the price back up so if I had something that I listed in May that was Christmas and I've been lowering the price a little bit come October I actually want to put it back up to the original asking price because now it's a hot item and I'm more likely to get that money for it so it's just a nice way for us to put the original month that was listed so we know when and the original asking price now the other reason is because sometimes um, on our really really old stuff we'll go back through and redo the photos um, we used to have just a wooden background and at first we didn't have really great lighting so sometimes if something isn't moving before I last ditch effort throw it on auction to try to liquidate it we'll redo the photos on our new background and then I can up the price a little bit um, I can either bring it back up to the original asking price or even up it a little because the photos are better and then I'll just put that in parentheses so I know that this particular shirt. I have 23 of them. Oh my goodness. We found them at the bins. It's a long story. I'm like over these shirts, but they've been in here since May 
and just this month I redid the photo and pushed them up 50 cents to hopefully try to get rid of them. Um, after this month, I believe I'm just throwing these babies on auction for 99 cents with uh, charged shipping. But anyway, that's the SKU line. That's where it is. It's right here. You can use it for any information that you need for yourself when you're looking at this item later, deciding on a best offer, any of that, that you don't want the buyer to see. Thank you for joining us today on Hasty Hippo Hints. If you like this video, please do me a favor and smash the like button down below. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to our channel and help feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.